Now, still in the same event earlier on in Parliament, President William Bruto has lauded the opposition, Azimio, for agreeing to participate in the ongoing bipartisan talks. The President, recognizing Azimio's delegation leader, Kalonzo Musioka, who was in Parliament, and National Assembly Majority Leader, Kimani Ishungwa, for making progress in the talks, saying that they will deepen democracy and enhance national unity. The President's blessings on the talks came as the National Dialogue Team retreated to draft its final report 17 days to the November 26th deadline. <laughs> With 17 days left to the outcome of Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio deal in the ongoing bipartisan talks, President William Ruto lauded the opposition for agreeing to dialogue, saying the outcome of the talks will not only unite the country but deepen democracy. I salute the courage and patriotism of my fellow leaders who have embraced national dialogue and engage and encourage all of us to keep up the noble work of bringing Kenyans together. There is so much to report about the progress we have made in serving the people of Kenya. Thank you so much. Despite the president's optimism for the much-awaited consensus, Azimio leader Raila Odinga was missing from the head of state's maiden state of the nation speech. His core principal, Kalonzo Msioka, who was in attendance, was recognized by the president and his co-chair in the talks, Kimani Shungwa. My good brother, Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, our former president and the leader of majority in the house, Kimani Ishungwa for doing a wonderful job. Congratulations, gentlemen. With the country smarting from street protests in the first half of the year, President Ruto said the nation has overcome the crisis and he was looking forward to a united country that has always overcome adversity caused by politics. There is no doubt that our nation has been confronted with immense pressure emanating from political misunderstandings sometimes and electoral disagreements. And it is because we have a robust democracy, which we are very proud of. Among the thorny issues on the agenda is the cost of living, which the two sides are yet to strike consensus on, how it should be tackled. The National Dialogue Team, which met on Thursday, has now retreated to draft its final report as the country awaits whether the Kalonzo Ishungwa team will lead the country to a referendum or whether the bills to be proposed will be executed in Parliament to effect the agreed changes. So for the bigger picture and the, for the common mananchi, it is a good thing to see. It is also a bad precedent to set that every time people lose elections, they go to the streets, they demand um, to have a sit down, and then, you know, we are caught up in, in, in like the one year that we essentially sort of had the push and pull. With the National Dialogue Committee set to retreat and draft its final report, the President's reconciliatory tone is a bonus for the committee ahead of the 26th November deadline. Apul Kamau, TV47 at Parliament Building.